In today's video, I am going to do treatment for stiff shoulder girdle. Movement of this area is essential for shoulder movement because these muscles attach on scapula. If scapula doesn't move, shoulder doesn't move. I want to do one movement today. This movement. This movement is called circumduction. I feel tightness at this level or this level when he raises up move. I guess his pec minor is tight. One more time, circumduction, nice, 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 and tight here. Okay, this is before treatment. So I'm gonna work on pec minor, pectoris minor. My right fingers on pec minor. Simultaneously, I bring his arm to upward. Nice. And I'm gonna approach to fascia around pec minor. This is clavipectoral fascia. This fascia covers anterior wall of chest. It's deep to pec major. This fascia covers pec minor. Okay. Again, this fascia is deep to pec major. This covers pec minor. And pec minor attaches on rib cage. Thus, when this part gets tight, that inhibits breathing. So, shoulder guard muscles attach on rib cage. When these guys get tight, that of course inhibits movement of scapula and also inhibits breathing. Very important muscle group. Good. I check circumduction again. Nice, 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 boom. Very smooth. I feel tightness here. I guess it's serratus anterior. This is also shoulder guard muscle that attaches to rib cage and scapula. So this guy also inhibits breathing and shoulder movement, scapular movement. Nice. Circumduction. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So he is flexible for all direction of shoulder. Again, I work mainly on pec minor and serratus anterior. These shoulder guard muscles are essential for scapular movement and shoulder movement. And don't forget for breathing. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.